I think when people come to our school, they come because they're idealists. And it's just the freedom, four years of freedom, it's fantastic. Why don't people go to art school is really the question. <laughs> In this department, we're encouraging them to basically be able to think for themselves. Basically, what I want to do is just to reiterate the time scale for public art project. When do we find out what day we're actually being assessed on in the assessment link? Usually, we don't decide that until pretty near the time and it's usually tough enough for us to get round and just see everything everybody's done. So uh, this is a good chance for everyone to talk about, you know, what they're planning to do, what kind of problems they're coming up against, what's happening with it. Right, I'll so, go first. Okay. Because I need to leave at half three. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the lady. Head straight up there. We're educating students to work contextually. Each student makes one public art project every year. They have to find their own site, they have to get their own permission. If they need planning permission, they've got to get that too. The environmental arts students are actually directly going out, intervening with society. My site is the Valleys, which is a pub down by St Enoch Centre. And it's private members only because the bar staff wear bikinis and they have a little cinema out the back as well. I'm going to make a short film. Me basically sitting in a chair like this with like shorts and a bra top on because I don't think it's, there's any need for me to be naked because that was in the 70s and this is the 90s so <laughs> then I'm going to have some site specific mud this is some taken from <coughs> outside and maybe I'll, I'll label some of it as well so that'll be like another wee piece for the project book Wait, sorry Elena, I missed, what, what is the bit that you don't have to be naked? Could you just go back a wee <laughs> no, bit? No, it's not about being naked right because Doing this? it's about I, like filming it and I thought about being blindfolded so that I'm not worried about how I'm looking or how I'm putting the mud on. I'm not being kind of vain about it or anything. The context in which they work becomes a very great influence on the actual art they produce. I have to go to the garden. Is this the garden? I have to go. So that's like the extreme. There's nine sculptures, um, which I think have come at various points over the botanic's life. They're all very classical style sort of statues. They're all the sort of deep, meaningful poses and the woeful sort of looks. The sort of naked girl. Uh, and there's that, oh, my child. So, that, so I think, you know, sort of playing with those, basically. It sounds like there's still a lot of work to do if you're going to sort of articulate something about it that's, that's more than just sort of bizarre for the sake of it, you know, or... Um, but the whole situation is bizarre for the sake of it, really they are aware of um, how the things they make can fit into the world in a broader sense and that with that comes a certain responsibility. And I think it's fair to say that they learn at least as much from each other as they do from us. In case anybody's never been to Quicksave, they do this range of stuff, no frills, which is like kind of their budget range. And the idea really was just to sort of make a range of artworks that kind of fits in with this. The thing that that makes a painting a painting is the fact that it's made out of paint and you know sculptural qualities are what defines a sculpture. As far as I understand my art history this is these are the theories that kind of led up to people making very flat paintings or paintings about the nature of paintings. And you're kind of making a point that art is kind of well what is the sculpture or what is painting or what is drawing? Yeah. yeah that's the question I ask myself so I expect that. Do you actually look at it as a, as a piece of art or do you look at it as just to say exploiting graphics? I am copying something that is completely very easy to, to reproduce, you know what I mean? There is that thing. It's kind of safe. It's a safe work, you know what I mean? It's a I mean, I was thinking about this before, like this thing about no, non-political work. I don't think that, I mean, I don't make, I don't pre preach politics, but I mean, there's a political element to what I'm doing I mean, as like, well. just work yeah. out. I don't know, if that's, that's... But you, you don't have to care about the public always, I mean, Trisha, I don't I think, want to no. paint, please. Sorry, but, I mean, uh, maybe we are asking or wondering if you're caring about what the public thinks or you don't, you know, it's not, we're not saying... 
Sorry, what were you saying, Laura, about the, the formal thing? Yeah, I think it, it'll work really well if there's just that, I don't know, I think there's just a little tiny detail that you've got to work out for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah we teach people in a way um, how to think about thinking, how to think about where they might approach the work. In this department, you know, uh, as I'm sure you've been finding out, <clears throat> some of the ideas the students come up with are pretty uh, fresh. I've always had this thing about sort of um, pets and playing with pets and toys and power and all my dissertation and everything that I was looking at. And um, <clears throat> I'm sort of wanting to maybe, I don't know, maybe end a chapter or something like that, but I'm wanting to bury dead pets in the foundations of um, these building sites around Glasgow. Um, I more wanted to do it as a, not as a secretive thing, but as a, you know, yeah, I'm getting rid of these things, I'm hiding them in the foundations of buildings, you know. I stand in the tower and throw my hair out and then the fire brigade drive up in their fire engine um, and it's like a propelling ladder, I can't remember what they call it right now, it's got a cage on the end of it. So I'm getting rescued by the fireman in the, in the cage, like stepping out and then being brought back down. So we had a giant discussion the last time about how you were going to do this, how the actual event itself was going to be translated into another piece of work or whether the event itself was going to be the work and the firemen were going to be... My audience. The audience. The firemen are not my audience. They're not who I'm making the piece of work for. Why do you think the bookshop is the best place? I think it adds to the, the kind of... the theme of my work, which, is, which has been so much to do with sort of fairy tale images and archetypes and mm -hmm. um, especially things from when you're a child and your memories which is what I'm interested in 